That wine bottle you've got tucked away in your closet has a little secret. It might be sealed with a cork that spent 12 whole years as a piece of bark on a tree that's been around for 200 years. How awesome is that? It comes from these cool trees called cork oaks, and they're all hanging out in southwest Europe and northwest Africa. The best part? When you harvest cork, it doesn't hurt the tree at all, making it eco-friendly and super sustainable. Cork's got some pretty rad qualities. You know, cork is good for sound. Is that cork? It's lightweight, it floats, it keeps liquid and gas out, it's fire resistant, and it's got this natural springiness to it. That's why it's not just used for sealing wine bottles, but also for flooring, insulation, and loads of other stuff. Here's a fun fact for you. Cork is used by musicians. Woodwind players like those rocking the clarinet, sax, or oboe use cork grease on the cork joints of their instruments to make sure everything fits together snugly and airtight. Pretty sweet, huh? It can also be made into lightweight honeycomb structures. By combining cork with materials like aluminum or carbon fiber, you get these super strong, lightweight structures that are perfect for stuff like aircraft flooring and vehicle panels. You might be surprised to learn that cork has even made its way into space. Thanks to its lightweight nature, thermal insulating properties, and resistance to fire, cork has proven to be a valuable material in the aerospace industry. Engineers have incorporated cork into spacecraft designs, such as heat shields and insulation for rocket engines, to protect sensitive components from extreme temperature fluctuations and the harsh environment of space. So next time you're admiring the night sky or following the latest space mission, just remember that humble cork is playing a role in pushing the boundaries of human exploration beyond our planet. Have you ever thought about what happens to all those wine corks after you've finished a bottle? John Pollack certainly did. He quit his job as a speechwriter for the Clinton administration and embarked on a unique project, building a boat entirely out of wine corks and rubber bands. Now that's a whole lot of cork. With the help of over 100 volunteers and donations from the cork supply company, Pollock and his high school friend Garth Goldstein collected a staggering 165,321 corks, which were used to construct the boat. The vessel set sail for 17 days down Portugal's Douro River, and Pollock chronicled the experience and significance of the project in his book, Cork Boat. Talk about thinking outside the box. Cork's also popping up in the world of microbreweries and craft beer. Some brewers are using cork in cage closures for their special brews, helping to preserve the fizz and allowing for extra fermentation in the bottle for even more complex flavors. Interestingly, Portugal is the largest producer of corks in the world, with over 737,000 hectares of cork trees planted. That's a whopping 32.5% of the global total. In fact, Portugal even issued the world's first stamp made entirely of cork back in 2007. The stamp is made of paper cork, which is just 0.35 millimeters thick, and every stamp is unique due to the natural cellular makeup of cork. So, there you have it. Who knew cork had such a fascinating history and tons of cool uses beyond just sealing wine bottles? Next time you come across cork, take a moment to appreciate all the incredible things it can do. If you dug this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more fun and interesting facts. Don't forget to drop a comment below with your favorite cork fact or any other topic you want us to explore. Cheers and catch you in the next video.